So, after a lot of months, maybe three or four, I'm finally back, and I have a pretty big upgrade right now. So, we are going to be taking this brand new Asus motherboard, is a V560, and we're going to swap it in for the one that's in there right now. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, y you would need a nice, like, working space, really. Nice and empty, nothing really um, cluttering it, and probably some paper towels for thermal paste, some scissors if you want to do some extra cable management for zip ties, and a pretty long Phillips head screwdriver, because it's kind of hard getting in there and getting those fucking screws. I've had a lot of trouble with that in the past, so yeah, let's get going, but first, we have to unplug everything from the back. And now, obviously, take your case and put it on its side on the empty desk so you can actually work on it. Now you want to remove the the, um, the panel, which I'm going to do with two hands, so I'm not going to be able to film it, but I just open this ring up, pull it up, and it's basically a door, and then it slides up and off. Yours might have screws on the back, it might have screws on all four corners, or it's the exact same one. So I'm going to do that real quick, and I would place it on a nice soft surface like a bed, and now that you have the panel off and everything, now you want to basically unplug everything. Now, if you've stuck around with me, you've probably heard this on the channel before and you know what to unplug. But if you haven't and you want to unplug, oh, I just missed the GPU. I'll get that later. <laughs> um, the 24 pin motherboard power thing, um, USB 3, SATA for the hard drive. Um, if you have it plugged in, then HD audio, and if you have a Legion, then you would want to unplug, like, the little Legion icon that actually lets you give, get RGB control, because now that we have a new motherboard, we have a new software, so we can use that, which is pretty exciting. You also want to remove the power button, uh, thing, and this, which also lets you control the RGB. You won't have this if you don't have a Legion, and the CPU power. And also, any fans, like any case fans that might be connected to the motherboard, which mine are connected to a little hub in the back. Now, if you still have the Legion fan in there from, like, the other system that actually has RGB, then you're going to need to come around to the back, if your RGB is in the back, and take off the panel so you can unplug it, because you're going to be lifting the motherboard out. So, you can't have something on the motherboard. Oh, shit that's plugged in to the PC still. So, it's a braid cable, here it is. If I could, there we go. Just pop it off, and I can push it back through so it doesn't cause me any trouble. Also, don't judge my cable management, I'm gonna be trying to fix it a little bit because, yeah, we don't talk about it, we don't talk about it. So now we have to unscrew the GPU and get it out because we can't, it's screwed into the actual case, the case, and yeah, we can't get it out on the motherboard, so yeah. Grab a Phillips head screwdriver, I'm trying to find my smaller one, but I can't, so I just have to use this big one. And for this case, there's actually, there's a vertical mount slot, but I don't use it because my, my cooler is actually too big, so yeah, I have to unscrew that. And then there's two screws, that one and that one, that I'll have to unscrew. I imagine you know how to do that, so I'm going to unscrew these, and yeah. I would also recommend having a little container for your screws, so you can just put it in there and not lose them. And now that it is unscrewed, you will have to come around to, I think, oh boy, I'm missing everything. Right here, there's a little clip, you hear that? Push it down, it unclips. Then you grab, oh, and there you go. Just pull it right out. There is your little baby card. Now you go and put it down. Actually, I will put it down right there, except I will move my can up to there. And now we are ready to unscrew the motherboard, I think. So there is a screw, um, sometimes it's down there, but for me, I have a screw right there, right there, right there, uh, not right there. Um, I think, no, I did not put one up there because I couldn't reach it. Uh, there's one up there and one up there. So, also those three down there. 
Don't forget any screws, but unscrew all of them. And then don't lose the screws. Just don't lose the screws, that'd be bad. So it's kind of hard to record lifting the motherboard out because I have to like guide cables out of the way of the actual board. But once you do, I would recommend getting the actual box for the new motherboard and just putting it on top. I wonder how much that just scratched my desk. Just put it on top of that for the time being or just put it on a different cardboard box. I don't, I actually do have one laying around, so I'll just use that. So I would suggest moving the case over a little bit and grabbing a second cardboard box, obviously. So this one will be for the actual motherboard inside and this one will just be for this one, for this motherboard. And what you're gonna wanna do now is I already took one of the fans off so I can get the cable through. But you're gonna take both the fans off. You only have one fan on the cooler, then even better. Almost got it. There you go. And then unplug the fan. And uh, now, um, I guess you'll take the RAM, your RAM sticks out, and your SSD. Make sure you don't lose them. That would be bad. And so I'll just take those out, and then I'll remove the cooler and get the CPU out. Once you unscrew the M.2, you can just, oh, you can just pull it out. There you go. It's really, it's really thin. So be careful with it because it could easily break um, if you like tried to break it. <laughs> so I don't really know how you would break it like accidentally, but yeah, just be a little careful. It's, it's kind of like a piece of paper. <laughs> so once again, I imagine you know the drill by now. Even pressure on unscrewing this. Oh, if I can get the actual thing. So if you've ever helped change a tire or actually change the tire, you would know the STAR method which is used to apply even pressure and not crack anything. At least I'm not, at least that's like the way for like PC parts. I'm not really sure what the point of it is for changing a tire or anything like that. I just know that that's the method that you have to do it. So it's like that. So you go from that one, that one, that one, that one, and repeat. So it doesn't do any damage to the motherboard. I guess if you don't really care for this motherboard anymore, then it might not matter. But if you want to sell it, you could probably get like 20 or $30 from it. This is a Lenovo board, so it has a pretty limited BIOS, and there's a couple other downsides. Like, I don't know, RGB software is kind of non-existent, and it's just bad. So, yeah, I wouldn't sell it for too much. It is a B460. So it's a it's a decent board. It's just it doesn't have any heat sinks on it either, so it could like overheat the VRM. Once you've unscrewed it, just and put it on a paper towel so you don't get thermal paste everywhere, because that will happen. Um yeah, and then you want to clean it off with the paper towel and clean the CPU off. And now we have to take off the back plate for the cooler. So I'd recommend being kind of careful with this thing because, you know, why not? And I don't know what it could do to the motherboard, because this one has an adhesive on the back, which I don't really know, like, how much that matters, but yeah, you just, you just gotta remove this. So, there's the adhesive on the back for this thing. It wouldn't come off, but I got the plastic thing off. I think that's really only what matters. So now to remove the CPU, you take this little arm thing, and you pull it back out of the thing. And that thing flips up like that, and you pull it out. But I can, I should probably get this out of the box first, because I don't really know where to put this. So yeah, let's open this thing up. So now take your motherboard out of the anti-static packaging. I can't really do that with one hand, so... Um, you can keep the anti-static if you want. I'm just gonna put it there for now. And I don't really need it too much. So, yes, we are going to need to get the new the other CPU in here, so it's the same process. Pull it up. Go on. Go up. Let me go grab the CPU. And here's the CPU. Now, you've heard it before, probably. Gold triangle on the CPU on the bottom left corner. Gold triangle on the motherboard. I assume, since it's a B560, and literally every Intel CPU drops in like this. It'll just go in. Like that. Um, and under there. 
this. You want to keep this just in case your motherboard is like dead on arrival or something. You can put this back on and send it back to Asus and they'll get you another one. So yeah, keep that. It also kind of looks pretty cool. All right, so quick note from editor me. Um, the i5-10400F is not a Rocket Lake CPU, which a B560 needs a Rocket Lake CPU to actually access the first M.2 slot. So yeah, you're gonna need to use the second one because the first one is disabled if you don't have like an 11th gen CPU, you need 11th gen for the first one. Now we can take off some fuel. So now we will install RAM. So I'm pretty sure it slots two and four. There's a user's manual, obviously. So you can check if you want to, but I'm fairly certain. But I will like redo this part if I'm wrong. There we go. That one's in. Just do the same for the other one. And now you want to take your backplate and set all the little things to 1366. Now take some thermal paste and apply a eh, about that size amount onto the CPU. And then grab your cooler and drop that bitch on, on onto the screw holes, please. And to tighten with the star method again, so a little bit on that one, a little bit on that one, a little bit on that one, a little bit on that one. Don't tighten too hard though. I don't really know how hard is too hard, but don't tighten too hard. And now you want to take your Vitro fan. I don't actually think that the Legion fan will actually work on here. There is a CPU fan header, I just don't know if it's gonna reach, and I don't wanna put it in the front, I wanna put this one in the front, because it's brighter, so, yeah. Put it up here, actually orient the cables to the way you want it. Um, so I'd do it like that, so the cables are going out to the back end, and get the little clips. Okay, so now heading back to the case, you can actually just take this little thing out now. Um, obviously, if have to disconnect all the RGB shit on it, and then the SATA. But yeah, you don't need this anymore, because... You have actual ports in the motherboard. All right, I think we are now ready to lower this motherboard into the case. So I'm gonna use these screw holes right here. I'm gonna use that one, that one, that one, that one up there, and that one, because I know those will fit this motherboard shape and they won't cause any damage to the motherboard in the process. So once again, I have to do this off camera, but I'm going to put this in there, line up the standoffs, screw this bad boy in, plug all the shit in, put the graphics card in, and hopefully it works. If it doesn't, shit. Okay, so now it's in. I have made sure that that one is aligned, that one is aligned, that one is aligned, that one is aligned, and that one is aligned. So all the screw holes are aligned, so I am ready to screw in the motherboard. So yeah, let's get going with that. These are the screws that I have to use. I have a lot more than I need for some reason. But yeah, I'm gonna screw this thing in and start plugging it in. All right, everything is now screwed in, so you want to start plugging everything in now. So 24 pin, USB 3, um, RGB, of course, uh, CPU, and um, I think that's actually it. I'll like walk. You, I'll try to walk you through the front panel things, but you will get a little diagram in your manual, so you can use that if you need help. All right, so I got the front panel things in. I got, um, I didn't get reset in, but I got the hard drive LED, I got the power LEDs and the power button in. It turns on, which I couldn't get the reset thing in and honestly I couldn't be asked. So yeah, right now I'm just plugging in the RGB. So for this, the RGB strips and the other RGB RAM things, which I actually have to plug in. So yeah, and I also might plug in the, um, the actual case fans instead of just having them being controlled by the actual case. So yeah, control the motherboard. I'm gonna do that, and then we are going to see if we can actually boot up into Windows. It is now finally time to put the GPU back in. Just line up, line up the shit. And then you press, she's in boys. Let me plug her in, screw her up, and yeah, we're almost ready. All right. Plugged in, screwed in, but now I have to deal with this. <laughs> yeah, this this thing is built in Wi-Fi, and I think it's actually an upgrade over my little Wi-Fi adapter. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm getting tired. <laughs> um. So yeah, these two little things 
I'm going to explore the contents of this bag, and I think there's antenna that are supposed to go here, and then, actually no, I think there's like two little things that screw in, and then there's an antenna that like sits right here on the desk or something. But first of all, we have to peel this off. All right, everything's plugged in. The Wi-Fi comes with this antenna, a little antenna stand and these little wires. So basically you put these on and then you screw them on to the little gold contacts. All right, and the motherboard was unplugged. I plugged it in, turned it on. So we're in Windows. We just have to do, redo a few things because God knows what. All right, we're in Windows. I'm gonna install Aura Sync and I'll be with you shortly. All right, I don't really trust um, Aura Sync because when I installed it, it it like just made my desktop black whenever I tried to log in. So um, I don't know if that was the cause, but I don't really trust it anymore because then I tried to install it once I re reinstalled Windows because that's what I had to do to actually get Windows back. And um, yeah, it didn't let me open anything else. So I just canceled the install and deleted it completely. So yeah, I guess I'm stuck on Rainbow for the for the um anything that's connected to it. I can't control the case fans though, so that's blue. So yeah, I think that's basically the end of it. The um the links for this product will be in the description. They will be Amazon affiliate links. I do kind of recommend it, although there's some downsides to it. Like I did have to install Windows or reinstall Windows. I don't know if you're gonna have to do that, but yeah, that's my personal experience. But if you are to buy it, then please use my affiliate link, because I like money. <laughs> and it, it, it helps the channel out, so... Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching, come like and subscribe, and I, I might be back later. Um, I, I'm streaming, I'm going, I'm probably gonna stream the day that this goes up, so yeah, watch out for that. See you guys later.